Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belonging to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahabaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahabashai. And double honours to the Elder Apostle of Great Millstone that teaches truth well and that continues to teach his truth well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and learning across the globe. I don't want to make this too long, so I'm going to be trying as quick as possible, but it's all according to the spirit. This lesson is going to be called Those that conspired against Yahweh are back here today, and those that gave him up, they're back here today. Okay, this is the bitterness of the scriptures. But once you understand these things, it shouldn't become bitter to you. Not every man that has great millstone on his name is going to be a righteous man. Let's deal with reality. Okay. Were all those that gave up Yahabashai? Were all those condemned? No, because what? Some of them were of the elect. But we're going to go into it, Lord willing. I want to start off from John. Okay, 7 and 7, Baba Kishar. And it says, this is John 7 and 7. The world cannot hate you. And this is Yahavashai speaking. Okay, to his elect, to his hopeful elect. But me it hateth. So this is, this is what you always got to keep in mind. When particular scenarios play out, people hate you. It's not so much you. This, you've got to be spiritual. And, and it says the world cannot hate you. But to me it hateth. See, worldly people, this truth, they're not going to be able to really delve into the truth. Because they're worldly. So if you're a righteous man, if you have a show that's dealing with you, then the world's going to hate you. By default. Because I testify of it. That the works thereof are evil. So because you're speaking up against the world. What do you think is going to happen? And the Pharisees and the high. Not all the Pharisees. The chief priests. And some of the scribes. They were of the world. So. Of course. Yahweh, they were hating on Yahweh Shai. See this ain't just referring the world this is referring to men that are in the world so you can also refer this to men that are claiming to be in the truth but guess what they're in the world so you're going to be hated let's go to Matthews 5 and 11 Baba Kasha. they had to bring up the whole truth not not bit not, not little bits all of it Matthews 5 and Tim, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven so with this truth comes what persecution because you're not for this world the individuals are for this world they're trying to uphold this world they're trying to uphold their status their fame their 15 minutes of fame okay so you're going to be persecuted because you're not doing that Okay, you're going to be isolated. Verse 11 Blessed are they when men shall revile you. So you're also blessed when men revile you. Let's quickly go into that word revile. Strong's G 3679 Anadizo. 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 To revile means to upbraid. To reproach. Okay. Undeserved reproach. So. Is this what you've got to get in your head? The reproach you're suffering. Is undeserved. In the meaning of, of the sense that. The individual that's doing it. Is without a purpose. But Yahawashai. From Yahawashai is not undeserved. Because we know. Yahawashai does not do anything by. He doesn't make mistakes. So in the sense of man doing things to you, it's undeserved because they hate Yahawashai. To revile, to upbraid. Um, what else? To taunt. So you're going to have individuals in this truth that try to 
to taunt you, try to draw you out. But that's again, that's just Satan to defame. So what are they going to defame? Your character. He done the same thing to you. How and John the Baptist? Okay. By calling them what wine bibbers, drunkards, and all that. You know, they said what? They said Yahushua had a devil. Okay. So that's defaming. So the, the same thing's going to happen in this truth. Ayi, real. At chai, taunt. Reproach, upbraid. So it's the same thing. And guess the ones that are going to be doing this? Not just people in the world. Those that claim to be in the truth that are of the world. Okay. And whoever has eyes to see, they're going to see. Whoever, whoever has ears to hear, they're going to hear. Okay. As, 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 as we get closer to the end, more things are going to be revealed. Who the Spirit's dealing with and who is not dealing with. Okay. Who's a righteous man and who's a demonic man. Who's for Yahweh and who's for Esau. All these things are being seen. Go to Matthew 5 and 11. But blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you. And shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. So if someone's saying all manner of evil against you falsely. They have to make up something that's not really true. Example. When we came into the truth. The reason we came into the truth. Because we realised that we were what? That we had sins. So everything you were doing in the world, in terms of your lifestyle, you've put that away. So nobody should really be able to say, well, he's doing this, he's doing that. So if anybody was going to accuse you, it would have to be falsely. Why? Because you're a new man. And individuals will see that. So any accusation, it would have to be what? False. You see what I mean? You understand, you understand what I'm saying? So all this is going to happen. Expect these things to happen. Why? Because they've done the same thing to Yahweh Shai. For my sake. So they're not doing it because it's you per se. It's because Yahweh Shai is in you. The spirit is not on you. It's in you. The Holy Spirit. And those that don't possess that. They may possess a whole, a whole load of likes. Views. But guess what they don't have? The Holy Spirit. So of course, because they don't have that, they're going to hate you. But they have a whole load of views and likes. But the Spirit is not there. Okay? So this, these are the things that are going to happen. Rejoice and, exceed, and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophets which were before you. So when it says they, it's just, it's just speaking about Esau, he's just, just speaking about the other nations, no, he's speaking about those that are in the truth that were in higher positions, the Pharisees and the chief priests, <laughs> okay, which a lot of men don't want to touch on for some reason, uh, maybe because you might be them same Pharisees that were what, messing with Yahweh, let's quickly go to Psalms 22, because it said he was reviled. So again, have you ever wondered why? Because not every brother's going to click. I understand that. But have you ever wondered why certain individuals, there's just no spiritual connection there? Because guess what? You could have been that righteous spirit that was with Yahweh Shai and that other individual could have been a guy that was handing in Yahweh Shai, that was against Yahweh Shai. This is what you have to keep in mind. All of Israel on this side are not going to be unified. Only the elect are going to be unified. So, again, like an example, if you have a camp, but you have ten, five individuals in the camp, and example, three of them get along, four of them don't get along. Because what that's that separation being made. So eventually, what do you think Yahushua is going to do? He's going to remove, okay, the righteous from the wicked. Everything is a balance. And this is, this is, this is, a, it's a war. The house of Saul, this is why I always say the house of Saul 
are mixed in with the house of David, but that separation is being made through what? The word, the doctrine, and the understanding, and the belief, and faith. So of course you're not going to get, get along with someone that was against you, how was shy. It only makes sense. See, when I'm, when I'm doing these videos, I, I want brothers to really think, really think and meditate. So, so certain certain things have been coming out through the spirit and this whole spirit about yeah we're all a brotherhood no we're not no we're not because first of all the scripture says beware of beware of um in jeremiah for every brother will utterly supplant <laughs> okay and when you go to stephen that was israelites stoning stephen there's many examples. John the Baptist, what did he say? Who warned you to flee, you serpents, you vipers? So, what's this whole thing about oh, the brotherhood? you got to love all the brotherhood. Not everybody is a brother. You love, the ones you love are that, the ones that are in Yahawashai. They are your brothers, the ones that are doing the will of Yahawashai. Because if that was the case, guess what? A man can just be an outright demon. And you, you, you just have to, you have to uh, love him. A man can be against Yahweh Shai. Speak all this nonsense again, and you just have to love him. That's why you've got to understand the scriptures. Yahweh Shai said, who are my brothers? Who are my sisters? Who is my mother? Those that do with the will of the Most High. He didn't say, what well, all the brotherhood. No, no, he didn't, he didn't say that. He spoke about the elect. But again, the deceived and the deceiver are his. And more things are going to be revealed. And sadly to say, a lot of you that are watching individuals that thought they had it, a lot of you are going to be in for a surprise. And when certain things get revealed, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, don't come running to my page. Don't come running to my page. And this, these are certain men that are high up, high up in the ranks. But when certain things get revealed, that these weren't men of the Lord, Baba Kasha, don't come running to my page. Okay, because you are siding with these demons. Okay. Psalms 22. And let's go straight to 4. And this is King David prophesying of what Yahweh went through on that cross. Okay. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted and that did this deliver us then. They cried unto thee and were delivered. They trusted in thee and were not confounded. But I am a worm and no man reproach of men and despise of the people. And they that see me laugh me to scorn. Okay? And you have that. Our people are wicked. Laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip, run their mouth, scoff, scorn, railing. They shake their heads saying, he trusted in the Lord Yahweh that he would deliver him. These were individuals were saying when Yahweh was on the cross. These were Israelites. It wasn't just wrong. These were Israelites that were saying this. He trusted on the Lord Yahweh that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him. Seeing he delighted in him. This is when Yahweh was on the cross. This was Israelites saying this. Okay, this was Israelites. Okay, but thou art he that took me out of my out of the womb, that is making me to hope when I was upon my mother's breast and I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my power from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, because it felt like what the heavenly Father forsook him, because all the sins at that time went was on upon Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is what His face is too what um pure to behold what sin. So for a moment, it felt like Yahweh was forsaken. Okay. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have come past me. Strong bulls of Bashan have beset me round about. Me round. And that was those that were what? Circling Yahweh when he was on that cross, talking shit. 
They gaped upon me with their mouths as a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water. What was this referring to when they um, poked Yahabashai and blood came out, blood and water? All my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. Okay. My heart is like wax. Okay, your mind. Okay, complete distress. Can you imagine the agonizing pain? So lucky about that. Where was I? Yeah, um, my heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like pot shed. And my tongue cleaver to my jaws. Okay. This is the pain, excruciating pain that Yahweh was going through. That has brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have come past me. So when it says dogs have come past me. You know what that reminds me of? Somewhere in Matthews when it says. Um, Cast not your pearls before swine. Neither give that what is holy unto the dogs. Who are the dogs referring to? Not just the other nations. Our people. They're dogs. They're a bunch of filthy dogs man. You can't give this to anybody. And it says, lest they tramp them under their feet and render you. You can't give this truth to anybody. So if you're a demon, if you're just an outright demon, and that has no respect for Yahweh Shire, do you really think you deserve that? You don't deserve that same respect. See, but there's a difference. If a brother's in this word, and he's sincere, you treat him as such. Okay, because the scriptures say in Proverbs 13 and 13, He that despises the word shall be destroyed. So that's what's going to happen to two thirds of our nation and those that don't want to repent. For dogs have come past me. The assembly, hold on a minute. The assembly of the wicked. What's an assembly? A gathering. You know what that reminds me of? The chief priests, Pharisees. Have enclosed me. Surrounded me. And you have men like that as well today. Doing the same thing. Maybe if we surround him. It's the same thing today. So again. Examine who you're amongst. Because you could be standing right next to a man. That is against Yahweh Shai. But claiming to be for him. Then when the word comes out. Guess what? They have that murderous spirit. They pierce my hands and my feet. With what nails. And I may tell all my bones. And they look and stare upon me. They part my garments. Among them. And cast lots upon my vesture. Which is what? Like dice. They're casting lots. Okay. Making bets on his garment. And when you go into that word lot. It goes into pebbles. Used for systematically making decisions. Portion. So that's what they were doing. They were casting lots. With what? With Yahabashah's what? Clothing. With his raiment. Or with his garments. But be not far from me. O Lord Yahabashah. My strength. Hasty to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword. From my darling. From the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth. For that has heard me from the horn of the unicorns. Okay. So our people as what? Okay, our people are murderous, man. Okay, and the scriptures bears witness. Okay, this is the, the, the situation that a lot of our people want to ignore. Okay, so you again, you have men that wake up to this truth to really suffer what Yahweh has suffered, and you have those that come into the truth to fulfill that role of their fathers. Okay. Which is what? Persecuting the prophets. Reviling them. Okay. And that's why you want to be on the right side. You want to be those that were with Yahweh Shai. That was on his side. Not against him. Okay. Let's go to Acts 5 and 30. Baba Kasha. A lot, a lot of men don't understand what they're involved in. And we're gonna we're gonna get to the point on this. Let's go to Acts five and let's go straight to verse 
twenty. Let's start at 24. Now when the high priest and the captain of the temple and the chief priest heard these things, they doubted of them. Well, until this would grow. Then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple. Which was who? Peter. Okay. And a few other disciples. And teaching the people. Bear me just a minute. Let's get straight to it. Start at 28, 27. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council. And the high priest asked them. So they, they were actually brought to a council. And he was asking them, the high priest, okay, saying, Did we not straightly command you that you should not teach in this name? Okay. And behold, you have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine. And intend to bring this man's blood upon us. So they just confess right there. That they were guilty. Of Yahweh's blood. They were trying to do away with it. They didn't want no part. Okay. So that's why it's so important to speak of Yahweh. And what he went through. And what he had to deal with. Because when you do that. That's when you really see people's true intentions. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said. We ought to obey the Most High rather than men. And that's what you see in the truth. A lot of men are not really doing that. Does it mean you don't take orders? No, you take orders because obviously it's the body. But you obey the Most High. If you see something's wrong and Yahweh is showing you it, because he will show you if you're a man and Lord. That's why there's something called discernment. Then what? You have to follow that. Okay, sometimes some people call it a gut, a gut feeling, the instinct, being circumspect. So if anybody tells you, stop saying, stop, stop speaking of Yahweh Shai, stop going into that scripture. Why are you touching on that scripture? Then you know there's a problem. And the power of our fathers raise up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew, and hanged on a tree. So Peter was saying, okay. The Heavenly Father resurrected what Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew. This wasn't speaking about Romans. Okay. Because what the, the Jews delivered what the Romans to do that. Whom ye slew and hanged on a tree, which was the cross. They were responsible. Him have the most high exalted with his right hand to be a prince and the saviour for to give repentance to Israel. Okay. And forgiveness of sins. And when he was on the scene that time. Guess what? They didn't accept him. So how more so now? And we are his witnesses of these things. So it's also the Holy Spirit. Who the Most High has given to them. That obey him. So if you obey Yahweh. You speak his word. You go against the grain. You're going to be what? Given the Holy Spirit. When they heard that they were cut to the heart. So why would they be cut to the heart when they heard that? Because it applied to them and took counsel to slay them. So what again they wanted to take out what? Peter and his disciples. When stood there up one in Selakia so like one in the council of a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a doctor of the law. Because you had many Pharisees, but Gamaliel, this was a righteous man. This is a man that was cool with what the, the apostles had in reputation. So not all the Pharisees were wicked. But a large majority of them were had in reputation, and this man had a reputation, but he was not wicked. See, you can have a reputation and not be wicked, but we're not seeking that among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space and said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. Because whether you know it, you have men in the truth today, if it was up to them, they'd put hands on you. And it shows what in their actions. Because they're not of Yahweh Shai. Okay, this word has no place in them. Okay. But again, um, yeah. What they done back then. Okay, remember what they done, what they had to do to Yahweh Shai. And when he comes back, what that judgment. This is what you've got to realise. Look, those that done that, they're back here to receive their judgment today.
and there's nothing me or you can do to change that. Bear me just a minute. Did I go into that scripture where it says be and repent? Because bear me just a minute. Bear me just a minute. Um Bear me just a minute. Because there was mercy. There was some of them. I forgot where the scripture is. Bear me just a minute. Bear me just a minute. Wicked. Can't find it. But somewhere, somewhere in Acts it talked about Peter was saying, um, repent, repent for your sins, for what you've done. Okay, because there were some of them that were very sorry for what they'd done. And they repented. Okay. So again, if that fits you, if you're feeling cut to the heart, repent. Okay. And until the next time, shalom. Shalom.